to the devil. Let's start with some basic curse breaking. If any time in this process, the next few minutes, you feel something, you let the feeling come. If you feel like, I want to shove my fist in his face, feel it. Make my day. Okay? That's why Scott's over there. You've got some really nasty stuff hanging around you. It wants you because of your Jewish heritage. And because you're talented, you have ability, you influence other lives. You're a prize Satan wants. And he is out to get you. Say, I, John. I, John. Renounce. Renounce. All acts of murder and rage. All acts of murder and rage. I'd like you to keep your eyes and look directly at me when you say these things. I renounce the spirit of lust. I renounce the spirit of lust. Of murder. Murder. And all acts of the occult. And all acts of the occult. Now, I separate those things which he did with journalistic intent from those things that he did in which his will was involved. And I come against the forces of darkness, and I bind you by the authority of Jesus Christ. And every spirit that sought to have him because of those rituals and those ceremonies. And I bind you, keep your eyes on me, I bind you by the authority of Jesus. And every purpose that you brought against this man, you will not succeed. And I command in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you be bound. And I subject you to the oil of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I come against every one of these blood packs. And I come against the spirit of murder. And I subject you to the word of God. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I subject you. Mm. Grab me, grab me, grab me. I come against you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Okay, let him go. Sit up. Now, I'm, I may have to have your help, Rowan. I, you may not want to be on camera, but I may have to have physical assistance here. This is serious. This is very serious. Okay, John? Yeah. All right, now we're going to go after this thing. God's people prostituted themselves. You're a spiritual whore, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And proud of it. Mm -hmm. You filthy thing. You came to kill him. <laughs> you came to kill him. You're not going to do it. You're subject to God's word. You stand on your feet. You're a coward, Satan. You're a coward. You're a coward. Who's chief? Mm. You want the sword? Who's chief? Who is chief? Papa Gede. Papa Gede? Mm. Get Papa Gede! Hey, you must have loved it when that voodoo witch doctor spilled the blood, didn't you? Mm. <laughs> You're still not so sure it was such a bad thing? I thought it was just a little research, wasn't it? I take a threefold cord from Ecclesiastes 4 and I bind your hands together. Get up, Papa Gede. You want blood? I'll give you blood. In the name of the Father, the Son, Drink it. Open your mouth and drink it. The blood of Christ. Mm. Drink the blood of the past. Did you spit it out? For that you take judgment. Get up, Papa Gaty. Get up. Uh, get up. We receive back on our heads. We receive back on our heads. Don't. John said I want Papa Gaty to say it. We receive a curse. Seven times greater. Seven times greater. Come out of him in the name of Jesus. Out. Come out of him. Come out. Come out of him. Go to the pit. Uh, out of it. Out. Out. Uh, out. Every part of him. Uh, pit. From every part of him. Out of him. Every spirit. Holy. Out. We subject to the sign of the cross. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord God of Israel. We're not done yet. But that's it. I'll let you get up and rest for a minute, John. I've never seen John look like that before. I've never seen anything like it. it was... I, and there was something in the room, and the whole room was different. Hmm. You could feel it. Yeah, the whole room was different. Okay, John, now look. you got some serious Satanism demons inside you, some serious voodoo demons, and they're nasty. Mm -hmm. This is nothing compared to what you're going to see. Mm -hmm. This is just the start. What's in Oklahoma City <clears throat> back Friday night?
they're going to see the New Testament in action. It's going to be at the Hilton Hotel Friday night at 7, and it's going to be on the how to be free from curses. Now, John, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm you're shooting me. I want to know how you're doing. This guy has got more demons of more religions and more strange things than almost anybody I've ever worked with. Now, where are you being? And let me tell you, this guy has real demons. I mean, serious demons. Absolutely every last thing I could think of. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. How did you deal with uh, is, uh, being Jewish with all this stuff with the KKK in there? Did you tell him you were Jewish? Well, you must, I, not, you must not have told him you were Jewish. You took part in a fatwa proclamation? Against whom? <laughs> Against this guy called Rove. Come here, guys. Come here. Mozambique witch doctor, blood sacrifice. Washed in chicken blood. You were washed in... Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> You've tried a little bit of everything, haven't you? <laughs> Lascivious voodoo dancing. Oh boy! You took peyote. Oh great! I want at least two copies of this. Would you get it for me, please? I mean, the Bible says witchcraft is an abomination. Mm. One of the unique thing I, I've done in this situation here is I've tried to base as much as I can on the Old Testament. But there has to come a point where this process moves into. Stage two, and that's the promises of Christ and embracing him as the Messiah.